YouTube. It's been so long since I posted a video. I'm so sorry. I'm just been going through a lot of things in my personal life and I'm so 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 sorry I haven't posted in like two months. That's a really really long time to go without posting a video, especially since you made a promise to yourself to be consistent in posting and then you just go two months without posting. And I know the subscribers that I do have, I know that you haven't seen me post. And again, I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm just going through a lot of personal things. And there's a lot of things um, that I have been struggling with. And there's a lot that I have been dealing with as of late in the past couple months. And that has caused me um, not to post as consistently and as often as I should have. So I'm just, real quick, I'm just give you a rundown. I'm not gonna go into full detail about everything, but the main key things that you all should know um, when it comes to my inconsistency. So for starters, um, the first thing that I wanted to address to you all is that I am having another baby. I am due in August 2020 at the end of August. Um, I am having a son at the end of August and I'm really really excited about that. Um, I already have two kids. I have two daughters. Um, one is about to be two in April and the other one is about to be five in November. And I know they're really, really excited about having another little brother. And I'm really excited about it too because I've always, always wanted a boy. And it's just, it's a blessing for me. And it's super, super amazing to me that I finally have the opportunity to be able to have a son. And I'm just super, super happy about that. So. My pregnancy is one of the things that have a factor in my inconsistency. Um, I found out that I was pregnant on Christmas Eve, actually. I found out I was pregnant, and I am now four months. And I have been having a lot of difficulties with my pregnancy like I'm constantly in pain like I'm always going to the emergency room like I've been in the emergency room so many times and this is only my second trimester and I've been in the emergency room like at least seven eight times already because I've just been in so much pain um I'm having like these severe headaches and you know I'm just I'm passing out I have temperatures like I just got over the flu um about three weeks ago so that's another reason why I haven't posted because I was in the hospital with the flu for five days and they felt like you know having the flu while you're pregnant it's not too too harmless but at the same time it is and they definitely want to be cautious about that because that can um, that can bring on a lot of factors and that can bring on a lot of complications um, in my pregnancy so they felt like it was better to be safe than sorry and so did I like I didn't want to I didn't want to risk losing my child I didn't want to risk him having any complications or anything so um they just decided to keep me for five days and I found out it was a boy um about almost a month ago because I took the prenatal non-invasive prenatal um, DNA test or whatever it's called and um, what they do is for those of you who don't know what that is or how that process works what they do is they draw your blood and they test for like you know Down syndrome and any other type of abnormalities that the baby might be at risk of so they generally test for that but they also look at the dna in the baby and that will help them determine what the predicted gender is 
and I did that and they called me about a week later and told me that it is in fact a boy and I was super super happy about that I'm so happy because like I said I always wanted a son a son is really my motivation to I guess you could say for me is not needing a man in my life that's just you know my personal opinion it's just me not needing a man in my life and I want to raise him right. I want to raise him to be a man. I want to raise him to be a respectable young man. Um, he'll have, you know, he'll still have his father in his life too. But, you know, I just always thought that I always wanted myself a little boy. And, you know, I finally get the opportunity to have a little man. And it's just such a great feeling. It's so exciting. And I just, I love it so much. Like, I talk to him every single day. Um even though I don't know if he can hear me yet. Um, I still rub my stomach. I still talk to him every single day. I talk to him like I talk to a normal person. Like that's how much attached to him I am and that's how much I've grown um, to bond with him. Um, I let him listen to music, appropriate music of course, but I let him listen to music. Um, I rub my stomach every night when I go to sleep, when I wake up, I tell him good morning. I read him stories. Like, I just do so much, um, and he's not even here yet. I'm not even close to my third trimester, but um, it'll definitely come, and it'll definitely come soon. Um, it just feels like it wasn't even that long ago when I found out I was pregnant, and I'm already um, four months, so... This pregnancy is going by really really fast but at the same time it's going by really slow because like I said of the complications that I have been having but overall he is fine um he is fine his health is doing great um he has a nice heartbeat he's very very active in there every time they do an ultrasound they always have to you know try to move it around a little bit because he's just so active and he's just moving around everywhere in there and he's just I can tell he's going to be a very very active baby so um August 2020 is when he is due and I'm really really excited about that another thing that have been that I have been dealing with personally due to my inconsistency is the fact that I don't have a home um I'm not going to get too into detail about that. I just, um, I don't have a home at the moment. Um, and I haven't really had a place to record. I haven't had a phone with a good camera because my other phone, I misplaced it. And all of my apps and everything else, all of my video editing apps and all of that were gone. And I didn't have a phone with a decent camera where I was able to record anything. And when I tried to record something, it was always lagging. And the camera was bad. Like, the quality was just terrible. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even upload on YouTube, even if I wanted to. Because the phone was just that terrible. Like, it was, it was awful. So, I haven't had a good phone to be able to upload and I haven't had a quiet place because of the fact that I don't have a home. I'm always around people. I'm always either going somewhere or I'm always around people. I'm never in a quiet place. I'm never really in a quiet environment. It's always people around me. It's always noise. It's always, you know, when I'm outside, it's always traffic, you know, the bus and everything. And then when I am, where I am now it's people talking and, you know you have the TV on and everything it's just you know people coming in and out so I never really have a quiet place until now um, the bathroom is really my only moment of privacy and the only place of privacy and late at night is a good place and it's a good time because um, everything seems to be everything seems wind down um 
during this time like it's really really late right now and everybody's you know everything is kind of wind down people are sleeping and um so i can upload um a little bit more often than i can than i have been and again i'm super super sorry for everybody all of the new subscribers and even all the old subscribers and you're just wondering where I am and like what I've been doing and what I've been going through and you know like I said it's just a lot of personal problems that have been going on with me as of late and it's really taking a toll on my physical and emotional and mental health and the motivation prospect like I never really felt motivated to post like I haven't been feeling motivated to post that and I haven't really had an idea of what to post about because I have so much on my mind and so much that I'm dealing with every single day with um, a lot of my personal problems in addition to the problems I just told you about and the fact that um, I haven't had any ideas on what to post about like I'll have an idea, but then I'll say, well, no, maybe people might not like that or that might bore somebody. So I really just don't even, I don't even bother picking up my phone. And because I don't have like a super fancy camera or anything, it's just, it's just, it's just a lot, you know. And I get that you all have to start somewhere like I get that I have to start somewhere so I'm not even really expecting to have you know two million subscribers in five days and I don't even post but every couple months so um, I'm really really sorry it's been a while since I have uploaded anything um, I need some ideas though I really really need some ideas or should I just switch to vlogs instead because i'm on the run a lot like i'm always on the go i'm always going somewhere so um let me know should i just do an asmr vlog for you guys or should i just stick to asmr by itself i don't really know and it's not gonna be like super super long either because like i said i'm not really in a quiet environment i'm not in my own space so, um, I don't know, but leave a comment down below, please, for some ideas, some video ideas that I can do for you all to at least keep the content coming and to keep it going and to just keep you all informed of everything and what I'm going through. And if you want to know about my pregnancy and if you want me to take you guys along for the rest of this journey, I will do that. You would just have to let me know. And um, if you want to see the birth of my prince, let me know that as well, because that would be something to put on my YouTube and that would be a memory that I can not only share with you all, but I can share for myself and I can share with him as well when he gets older. Like I saw my birth video, um, surprisingly, my family made sure that they captured that moment and they showed it to me when I got older and I was amazed and I still um if I could I would still watch it to this day because it's just so amazing that my youngest and my oldest looks exactly like me when I was born that's so crazy to me but like I said this video was really going to be just short and sweet just explaining to you all my inconsistency and why I haven't been really posting like that and um to let you all know that if you can it would really really mean a lot to me if you could give me some video ideas and what would you like to see from me next and if you want to know about little one or if you want to see him, like if you want to see an ultrasound video, if you want to see ultrasound picture, like do you want to see, what is it called? I think it's called like the U-Haul or something. 
something to that effect. I don't know. But if you want me to like post belly pictures or something like that, just let me know. Just just let me know what you all want from me. And I will try to do my best to deliver that to you all. So I can keep my page up and running and I can keep you guys in the loop on what's going on. Because I know y'all miss me. I know y'all miss me and I know y'all want to see me back in action. I want to be back in action too. Because I know it's a struggle out here. I know it's a struggle. Especially everything that's going on right now in the world today with this um, coronavirus. And people are just buying in bulk and, you know, kids are out of school. And, um, yeah, it's just crazy out here. But um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Um, please follow me on my social media. I will put my Snapchat and my Instagram and my Facebook down in the description box. Oh, sorry. I got a little scared for a minute. I will put my social media, I will put my Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook down in the description box. So if you can, follow me on all of those platforms. That will really, really be great. And, um, yeah, just stay, stay safe. Stay clean. Wash your hands. I know everybody does that, but, you know, with this epidemic going on around here, we got to make sure that we, you know, scrub a little bit more. So, I just hope everybody is safe. I hope everybody is continuing to be safe, be healthy and happy, and, yeah. So, until next time, I will see you all in the next one.